Hey gang, what's going on? Juan here, and that, my friends, is a box. Now, a Wrestle Crate, as a matter of fact, but it is not the March edition of the Wrestle Crate. Now, last month, they had some shipment issues with a couple of boxes. Mine, unfortunately, was lost in the process, so they had to resend it. So I'm actually get back-to-back -back boxes, really, because the March one is going to be released about a week from um, me recording this video. But for those that don't know what Wrestle Crate is, if you know what Loot Crate is, any of those boxes where you pay a monthly fee and you get some goodies that you don't even know what they are. Now, I have an unboxing for the January edition of the box, which you can check out in the description below, or you can hit that little eye right there, that eye that can go a long way. And if you look in the background, there are a couple of things like this Johnny Mundo autograph, the Johnny Mundo glasses, this awesome Finn Balor thing. I'm looking forward to seeing what I get. It's been really difficult to not get spoiled considering uh, you know, a lot of people got this box already. Very few people. They told me about 10 to 12 people lost their boxes. So we're talking about, like, I don't, I don't even think it's like a 5% of the orders. But look at the box here. If you haven't seen it, it's pretty cool. They have the website right there. Hashtag WrestleCrate. They have all their social media information if you want to get involved in that. The original monthly box of wrestling goodies. So I opened it. You know the deal, I'm just going to be looking at you guys hanging out without really knowing what's going to be in it. So let's let's get a feel for this first. Okay. Oh, man. I think the first thing is already a Funko Pop. I don't know what it is yet, though. So let's see here. Oh, we actually got the Brie Bella Funko Pop now. Now, keep in mind that I mentioned in the previous video that I now have a Nikki and Brie Bella Funko Pop. So what you're telling me is that I have two of these, and maybe I should get rid of one of them? Maybe give it away? Questions? Answers? Stay tuned. Let's see what we got next. Let me get a good feel. So this is a t-shirt. Now, I'm not going to take it out of the box yet because I don't want to be spoiled. Whoa. This is this is big. It's like a, it's like a book or something. It's this. Headlock, The Last Territory, an illustrated serial drama founded in 2008 by Michael Kingston, October 11th, 2015. This cover is actually drawn by Jerry the King Lawler. So check that out. I'm trying to have you get a good look at it. It says, you ain't never been without some kind of structure in your life. You've just followed the path already laid out for you. Here, here, there ain't no path. I can teach you how to bump and run the ropes, but the real game is behind the curtain. You gotta stand up for yourself or you're gonna be fighting every night of your life. I'm looking forward to this. I have no idea what it is. Can we just get a, a quick sneak peek? All right. Okay, I'm looking forward to this. It's like a straight up comic book. It's like a soft cover, so it already has everything. Okay, I don't wanna get spoiled, but Look at how big this is. I don't know if this is a, a collective issue or if this was the, the one-time release thing. It says, Headlock, The Last Territory, Volume 2. Okay, so there's been a Volume 1. So I'm hoping that I don't really need to watch or read the first one to get, a, to get an idea of what it is. But if I like this, I'll definitely get the first one. Now, it has a value of $19.99. Now, keep in mind, this Russell Crate is the Ultimate Edition and costs $30.00 plus shipping, so this already costs 20 bucks, and the Brie Bella Funko Pop costs around 10 to 15, depending where you get it, plus tax. So with these two things alone, I already got my money's worth, and keep in mind, once again, this may be going away from my house in the near future. Up next, what do we have? This is a smaller item. Okay, headlock. Okay, so this is the description. Check out our next Kickstarter launching March 18th. Kickstarter exclusive stories from Samoa Joe, MVP, The Young Bucks. Okay, so maybe it's like different stories told by different wrestlers. I'll give a, a video in the future, I guess, talking about this because it has Booker T, RVD, AJ Styles, John Morrison, Shane Helms, Ken Anderson, The Addiction, and more. How far would you go to live your dream? Raw, gritty, and real, writes Ain't It Cool News. Up next, I'm saving the t-shirt for last. I'm, I'm having trouble getting this out because I don't want to bend anything. This feels like it can bend easily. Oh, believe this could be like an autograph or something. What is this? 
All right. Whoa. Not one autograph. There's multiple. Okay, so let's let's do this in uh, segments. First up, we have a Colt Cabana Pro Wrestling Tees autographed thingy. Now, this is pretty awesome. I actually have a couple of things signed by Cole Cabana. I met him in Wrestle Reunion 2012 alongside Keith. Plus, I have the Wrestling Road Diaries 1 and 2, which I got from ColtMerch.com, and they're both autographed by him. So here's yet another thing. The funny thing is I was actually watching the Wrestling Road Diaries 2 last night, which if you haven't checked it out, it has the big LG, a.k.a. Luke Gallows, a.k.a. Doc Gallows, and he's going to be coming into the WWE once again, the former Festus. So if you want to get a good look at what happened after his WWE career, before he went over to Japan, definitely do yourself a favor and check that out. It's really worth it i have a review of the first wrestling road diaries which i did man when this channel launched i think so i'll make sure to also drop a uh link to that in the description whoa okay so let's do a little bit of a comparison first i got this beautiful beautiful finn balor thing last month hey there's obs i got this last month and now I'm getting an aj styles one a phenomenal exclusive limited edition Beautiful, beautiful art piece of the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. This will definitely be somewhere in there. Dandy might be in trouble, and so may the ultimate banana bread. May he rest in peace. If you're curious about this, make sure to check out Finite in our channel. And we're not done yet. We're not done yet, folks. The biggest one here, an autographed Jerry the King Lawler 8x10. Now, it's not just cool that it's autographed by him, but I love this picture this is from what I believe to be a uh, WrestleMania. Okay, now here we go. The final item. This is the t-shirt. It is a black t-shirt, first of all. So check that out. I am opening the t-shirt, which I hope is size medium. And bam. It is a Kenny Omega endorsed Canada Cross Japan Heavyweight Division t-shirt. I'll be honest, I have not checked out a lot of Kenny Omega, aside from him wrestling a doll and a little girl, but Kenny Omega has also made appearances on Up Up Down Down. This guy is one of the top superstars currently in Japan, so that's why I love the Wrestle Cray, because it really motivates you to just learning more about other professional wrestlers out there. I love the value of this. Once again, the fact that you get the Funko Pop, and I know that next month, or this month, I guess, they did hint that they got thousands across thousands of Mattel action figures. So maybe in the next crate, we won't get a Funko Pop, but we may get an action figure. I don't want to be spoiled. I want to be able to live that and maybe put it up somewhere in there. By the way, the Eddie Guerrero thing is not gone. That just moved up to our living room because it's great. People love seeing it. So it moved across. So I need to put something in there. That spot's empty. So now let's break down the estimated value of the February edition of the Wrestle Crate. A t-shirt goes for around maybe 20 bucks. So let's do 20. Plus you got 20 here based on the retail price. That is 40. Let's summarize the Funko Pop at around 10 bucks. You got 50. You got this autograph, which I don't really know how much you can put of a, of a value since it's not an 8 by 10 but let's say it's maybe $5 or something like that, 5 to $10. We're nearing the $60 area. We have the Jerry the King Lawler autograph. And this alone can go for a couple of bucks, definitely, if you go to a wrestle reunion. And it's just a great collector's item. Like, price aside, because this is not about, well, did I get my money's worth? You're getting some exclusive things, like the AJ Styles uh, art piece. You can't get these things elsewhere, and that is why I love the Wrestle Crate. Now, do I strongly recommend this? Yes. I was a bigger fan of the previous month's Wrestle Crate, the January one, simply because when you got John Morrison, Johnny Mundo glasses, you can't really compete with that, right? And because I was just talking about wanting to get something Lucha Underground related, so that was just pure coincidence, but I also love this. I got to figure out where I want to put these across time because you get guaranteed autographs. I don't know how big this is going to get in my wall. This is going to get a little bit out of hand, but hopefully I can figure something out. Let me know which was your favorite item by leaving a comment below. Make sure to subscribe, like, join the family. We have a podcast where we talk about the WWE every single Tuesday night. I almost forgot when it is that we post the podcast. We have a bunch of score roundtables, which are individual discussion videos. We have the finite, which once again, if you want to know 
how this came to be. Why is this picture on my desk? Also check out Finite, and if you have any recommendations for something that you want us to check out, it's something that you want us to talk about, not just in the podcast, but as an individual video, also drop that below, or send us an email, bythatcast at gmail.com. You will also get all the information for how you can get yourself a wrestle crate in the description. So thank you for watching, and until next time, we will be back with tons more right here. Because these are still awesome. I'll bite that.